Hello and welcome to another edition of the uh, Healthy Food Show uh, with me. Um, uh, today I'm talking about kimchi. Uh, kimchi is a traditional Korean dish. It's got a rich history of over two millennia and it is a staple in the Korean cuisine. Um, it is a form of it is a fermented food and a previous uh, uh, lives podcast we talked about uh, fermented food so i thought it might be quite just to concentrate on just one different type of uh, fermented food so i chose kimchi kimchi is made from all sorts of different things um, basically it's a fermented fermented vegetable but you can um, you can add other things such as fish etc to make it taste uh, different but the there are hundreds and hundreds of different varieties of kimchi all with unique ingredients and most of them are regional variations um, the origins of kimchi are believed to be rooted in ancient korean practices of preserving vegetables during the cold winter months but over time, kimchi evolved to simple salted vegetables to more complex recipes, including spices, fish sauces, fermented seafood, which represents Korea's dynamic and agricultural culinary history. And um, at the moment, Korean food is uh, huge in the UK. It, the different types of Korean food available are growing massively. So I thought it might be quite interesting to have a look. Um, so the main types and most widely recognized form of kimchi is a, and i don't know if i'm saying this correctly beichu kimchi it's made with napa cabbage um the best way if you want to make your own the best way to make your own is to chop up uh napa cabbage and uh, put it in some salty brine because this kills any harmful bacteria because you don't want any of those and then to get the good bacteria, which is what makes it healthy, um, is you use um, the, the sugars um, ferment, basically, to lactic acid, uh, mainly from different types of lactic acid bacteria, but also sometimes from yeasts as well. And by letting them do this, this increases the lactic acid bacteria that are present in the product and gives you a lot of different health benefits. Um, but I'm told that too much garlic makes it bitter and too much ginger makes it sticky. Um, and you can have it mild or you can have it fiery. It really depends on how much uh, chili you add. So you um, put the cabbage into a, into a pot and let it ferment for between one to five days. After this, um, you can leave it in a fairly warm place to, to get it going. After five days, please refrigerate it and eat it within two weeks. Um, most people say that after five days, it's, it's ready to eat, but it tastes better um, after a couple of weeks. So there are other types of kimchi. You can make a uh, kak dugi. Uh, again, don't know if I'm saying that correctly, which is cubed radish and this is known for its crunchy texture or you can use cucumber cucumber kimchi or oi sabagi typically enjoyed during summer months um, and you can use radish uh, called chongdak kimchi made with young radishes known as ponytail radish kimchi so benefits rich in probiotics which as we spoke about before are brilliant for um gut health and have loads of different um, advantages to them. Um, it's nutrient dense, it's high in vitamins A, B and C, as well as minerals such as iron and calcium. Contains antioxidants and they can help with uh, stress and inflammation, which is not good. Digestive health, as I said, promotes healthy digestion uh, and keeps your bowel movements regular. Evidence suggests that eating kimchi may help lower cholesterol and improve blood sugar le levels um, and other potential benefits include prevention of certain types of cancer and support brain and skin health too so 
what else can I tell you about kimchi? It's a rich source of beneficial microorganisms, primarily lactic acid bacteria, because that's how it works. The lactic acid bacteria ferment the sugars and cause lactic acid, which then preserves vegetables and gives it its tangy taste. Um, there's also yeast, sometimes yeasts are present as well, but the lactic acid bacteria is, is what's predominant. Um, there may be other bacteria as well, which also cause uh, fermentation. Um, but these are not as prevalent. Uh, so what else can I tell you? Oh, salt con concentration. The amount of salt can impact the growth and activity of the specific bacteria because salt is acts as a preservative and therefore some bacteria don't like too much salt. So be careful with that. The fermentation temperature affects the growth rate and the dominance of the microbial species. Fermentation time allows for different stages of mi micro microbial succession, affecting the final taste. So kimchi's unique flavor, texture and health benefits are largely due to the diverse and dynamic microbial community involved in its fermentation. Primary or organisms, as I said, lactic acid bacteria, but yeasts work together in a complex process, transforming the raw ingredients into the delicious and probiotic rich food that kimchi is known for. Give it a try. Um, that's all from me. Uh, please like and share and uh, look forward to seeing you soon on the next uh, podcast from the Healthy Food Show.